If you're watching this video, you're probably uncommon amongst uncommon or you strive to be uncommon amongst uncommon. And this video will be an important topic that you will see probably for months on end. And I believe you will be gaining, you know, dividends from having watched this video to the end. So stick to the end. Last year, I went through the most rigorous studying, most rigorous working season of my life. It was incredibly hard, many sleepless nights, many tears dry because it was such a rigorous regiment of studying and training. I was preparing for the university exam and I managed to get into the probably the top school in Turkey. I'll be studying computer engineering and business double diploma so you can say that i know a thing or two about you know hard work but when the summer came it was expected of me to take the whole summer off just jerk off do nothing you know play games watch movies watch tv series i don't know hang out with people that was what's expected of you. that is what's expected of you when you went through this rigorous working season especially if you're a student student people will not call you out on anything because you know that's a that's what's expected of you they expect you to be an empty vessel throughout the summer because you've worked so hard right so the first month i'm doing nothing i'm playing games i'm writing away and i i, I couldn't even tell you what i did in those first two months june and july fuck it it's not june yeah june and july i couldn't tell you <laughs> it's so forgot for forgettable because you aren't gaining anything you are actively losing probably brain cells from all the fucking bullshit that you were actively engaging in so first two months pass i have my surgery and you know i had to rest from that and august 4th i believe or august 3rd comes and i start to go to the gym back again i start again it had been a year because you know i was studying this hard for this university it had been a year since i went to the gym and i started going to the gym and it just became a snowball effect from there it just translated into you know, reading books. It translated into working on business, working on other stuff. It translates into, into hard work. And so I start to think to myself, why? I, I don't have to be doing this, not at all. Heck, it's expected of me to not be doing anything. But I'm still doing this. I don't got a father at home telling me that I should be doing this. I'm still doing this. Why? Because now I came to the realization that everything you've been told about, the study sessions, the life, everything about studying, working was fake. It's all fake. It's all hubla. It's all fugazi, fugazi, whatever. Working is more fun. Working is definitely more fun than the fun concept that we have what what is fun hanging out with friends all right if it's not contentful if it's if it's empty i don't have fun maybe it's watching movies if if it's not adding something to me i'm not having fun i'm just afk my brain is afk right we had that concept away from keyboard you know, in gaming days. My brain is AFK, my brain is not active. The, the most fun thing that you can do is work. That's the most fun, the most rewarding thing that you can do is work. I inevitably found something to latch onto, to work, you know, because it's in my DNA now. After you go through such a rigorous working season, it's in your DNA. It's implanted. It's over. You will have that hard working itch 
till the rest of the time. And here I'm telling you, most of you are pussies. Most people that will be watching this video are pussies. But if you wish to be amongst the 1% or 10% of people that are going to be watching this video, if you wish to be uncommon, then you have to get that mindset. You have to be working, studying relentlessly. You have to be trained relentlessly because there are people out there that are already doing that. There is a guy out there that has been training for three years, working and studying for two years, and still going hard every single day. The gap between that guy and you will be so massive by the end of the year. It will be unfathomable, the difference between you guys. You should be afraid. If, you, if you're not working daily, if you're not training daily, you should be afraid. You're going to be left behind. I, I'm not, I'm not saying you're going to be left behind if you're, not, if, you, if you're not tapped in, if you're not dialed in. You will be left behind. It's not easy to catch up. Don't let people allow you to think that. It's not easy to catch up. Who has time for rest? Who has time for vacation for three months? It's absolutely phony. It's absolutely ridiculous. You should be working. You should be doing something at least. You should be, you should be developing yourself in some way at least because these uncommon people are doing that already and most have been doing that for years and they will pass you. They will pass you with ease. If you do not like it, if you do not take working seriously, the gap between them and you will be exponential. It will be exponentially increasing every single day. When you wake up in the morning, ask yourself, what can I do to add something to myself today? What can I do? What is one thing that I can do that will propel me forward in life? And, and gain that working itch. Go through like six months of monk mode, right? Hamza said it well. Go through six months of monk mode and that working itch, that DNA will be implanted in your brain. And hopefully, you will allow it to flourish. Thank you for watching. My name is Chinar, but you can call me so, so does it. That's about it because people cannot say Chinar Duan. So, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Thank you for watching. I'm not that. I was about to say it's not that serious, but it is. It is that serious. People are depending on you. So, thank you for watching. That's about it. See you.